dangerous chemicals called PFAS are everywhere. Soaps, lotion, makeup, nonstick cookware, even food wrappers. Everywhere. And now the EPA wants to at least get them out of our drinking water. But as I found out, there is a long road ahead. Have you ever heard of PFAS? What? PFAS. Nope. What about forever chemicals? Nope. Heard of a forever chemical? No, I haven't. What about PFAS? Per and polyfluoralkyl substances, or PFAS, were created in the 1930s, but didn't start making headlines until recently. The EPA calls them an urgent public health and environmental issue, linking exposure to cancer, hormonal dysfunction, and more. And they are everywhere. Shampoo, uh, Teflon, uh, uh, hundreds of everyday materials that you use, the clothes you wear, uh, anything water resistant nearly. The CDC says a top way PFAS get into our bodies is through drinking water. Cal Water started testing for them back in 2013 as part of the federal government's unregulated contaminant monitoring program. We can see that this was going to be something that, you know, was going to be pretty prevalent and that we were going to have to act on. We preemptively started testing all of our sites. The state has a notification level and a response level okay. um, that are, are suggestive, right? And so all of our sources are below, the, all of our active sources are below that California response level. There are 55 active wells in Chico, Four already have special filters on site from other types of previous contaminations. Those are filled with a granular activated carbon media, okay. um, which is what actually bonds the chemicals that we want to treat out. Activated carbon, so yep. kind of like a Brita filter. Exactly like a Brita filter on a much larger scale. It's the same way they'll filter out PFAS, but the EPA won't decide on how much is too much until this spring. A draft proposal is four parts per trillion. And how many more of these would we have to put in? Um, we're looking at anywhere from 10 to 15 possibly uh, in Chico here. Right now the filters cost one to two million dollars per site. But Calwater says settlements from several class action lawsuits could mean we won't have to pay for it all. We hope to recoup as much of those costs as possible from the, the manufacturer of the compounds. We're also looking at, at grant funding. Once the EPA sets a PFAS safety level, water providers will have five years to start filtering them out. In 2023, Redding shut down one well after finding PFAS above the state notification level and response level. Red Bluff started testing wells in 2020, and all results are still well below the state response level. But drinking water isn't the only way PFAS get into our blood. In fact, the International Association of Firefighters is suing the National Fire Protection Association for requiring firefighters to wear gear that contains PFAS. Chico Fire Captain Ethan Rowe orders protective turnouts for his department. Three layers of the turnout, your outer, your more severe, therm and thermal. So they're saying most of it's found in these two, but it's making its way through touching, touching okay. skin. He says they've changed how they handle the turnouts now that they know the dangers of PFAS exposure. We used to wear the turnouts, take them to our bunks and have them sitting right by our bed. Yeah. We'd wear the turnouts when we got up at night. Now everybody just gets in their station clothes at night. We only use these when we need to use them. Station one also now keeps turnouts far away from living quarters and uses an intense cleaning protocol. We have unfortunately lost two great men and we have another one fighting cancer right now. And in this small of a department and this is in the last six years. So it's, it, it hits close to home for us here. As of November, a U.S. District Court approved settlements for the 3M and DuPont, Shamors, and Corteva class action lawsuits. So do we know how much they settled for? Yeah, it's looking like the 3M one, that's the big one, $10.3 billion. The other one was bundled for a little bit more than $1.1 billion. So it's still, that's a lot of filters. This is, uh, this is you know, it can be disturbing to think about. As you pointed out in the beginning, not a lot of people know about yeah, this. Yeah, they've been making them for like 100 years, and we're just finding out. I bet you'll keep us updated. I will, yeah, and thanks, we'll Haley. keep some Brita filters in the fridge, too. Yeah. To